Hey guys, my name is Krishi. I am a tutor and mentor with Medlife Master. I want to take this time for me to kind of go over my own MCAT journey and how I navigate it through tough mental and emotional obstacles as I was in your place not too long ago. For reference, while I was studying for the MCAT, I was a junior handling a full course load at school. Now, my very first encounter with the MCAT involved me sitting through an intro session hosted by the pre-med committee at my school. I sat there, overwhelmed, anxious, thinking to myself how I would ever be able to conquer this beast of an exam. After all, this was meant to be one of the most longest and most intensive exams of my life. Just seeing the amount of sheer content I needed to ace this exam was almost enough to deter me. Now, as opposed to taking the time to go through each subject area, I took a chance and started doing practice questions almost immediately. I quickly realized that this was a very bad idea as I was seeing persistent and consistent gaps in the content, especially in courses that I had taken two years ago. My diagnostic full length was around the low 490s. At this point, it was clear to me that I would have to go through all the content from the beginning. Again, I was overwhelmed. I spent days switching frantically from one Kaplan book to another without achieving any real progress. It was then, at this point, that I realized that I was too bothered by the outcome in reaching my goal score, as opposed to investing my time in the process and the journey. After all, how could I build a whole building without setting a strong foundation? And so, I suggest to all of those that are looking to start MCAT prep soon or start to study again for a retake, to critically evaluate your content expertise at the very beginning. Having a strong grasp of high yield content and basic familiarity with lower yield topics from the get-go will save you lots of time in the long run. As a part-time studier, I spent about three to four months going through the six content books of the Kaplan set. During this time, I was also doing the corresponding U-World questions for each chapter. After doing so, I saw my full-length scores increase slightly to the low 500s. I was still not satisfied. I was unaware of what more I could do. Upon further research, I stumbled upon YouTube videos that were actually created by other MCAT Master tutors. And I realized that even though I was putting in the hours and doing the hard work, I was not reflecting enough upon my weaknesses. After reviewing my old practice questions, I realized that content was no longer the issue. It was actually consistent critical thinking and analysis flaws. I then targeted these flaws and switched my practice only over to the AAMC full bundle. In my opinion, this is a must buy resource. After spending one to two months doing only AAMC questions and reviewing both wrong and correct answers thoroughly, I saw my bi-weekly full length scores steadily increase to the five tens range. I continued doing this until my test date. And I believe this last step is what helped me to achieve a 519 on my official MCAT. As you guys could see, my journey for studying for the MCAT was anything but linear and simple. There were many ups and downs. However, I learned one very important thing, which is to always prioritize self-care. This journey can be grueling and intense. So be kind to yourself and be sure to make time for fun activities. For example, while I was studying, I would be sure to go off for a walk while listening to music, as this was the most relaxing and stress relieving for me. Take frequent breaks while studying and take at least one day off per week for yourself. At the end of the day, you want to prevent burnout and be mentally and physically ready for test day. Another piece of advice that I want to give to all of you is even though things will get tough during the process, continue to believe in yourself. A positive mindset and reaffirming self-talk really do go a very long way. I encourage all of you to sign up for a free MCAT strategy emails using the link below. These emails are super precious because you'll be able to learn a lot more strategies and important tips from our mentors who aced this exam. With that being said, I want to wish all of those studying right now or preparing to study for the MCAT. Good luck. You got this. Our team here at Medlife Master is always here for you. 